23 volunteers, they repeated the experiment that was done on my cells, and they showed that these normal males, <clears throat> before they received the active ingredient in this juice, that their cells were uniformly, easily susceptible and infected by the AIDS virus and work done at Southern Research Institute. I keep emphasizing that to try to show that other people independently have confirmed and done work other than uh, someone as enthusiastic as I am about it because I got involved in it and the company that would obviously have a bias, potentially bias, or vested interests. Dr. Cologne took those 23 volunteer cells before they received it and they infected and she saw the degree of infection and then after they had been on this for a week at different dosages she showed that proportional to the dose the virus infectivity went down until it was blocked. Another very important thing is she showed that in combination with AZT, that 1 20th the dose of AZT was just as virucidal in these standard test model uh, tissue culture systems as the full dose of AZT. Aloe vera lowers the toxicity and also the dosage requirements for AZT and other drugs Oh. and allows them to take lower doses. The real significance of that is is that AZT is antiviral, but to get it uh, clinically effective, you get the potential of bone marrow and liver toxicity and the side effects of AZT. Carrington Laboratory, under the direction of Dr. McAnally, went through our FDA to get permission to do a double-blind placebo study in Europe, done in Belgium by Dr. Klumek. Uh, who I understand was one of the original uh, people to identify the AIDS syndrome in uh, African uh, patients. The double blind placebo was done in uh, Belgium. It's been completed. The statistics have been done on it and uh, this full results has not been reported. All this information has been given to the uh, Belgian government and their consortia over there and it's under the consideration and in the process for uh, the equivalent of what we would have in this country of FDA approval for the European common market. The studies that were done in Belgium where uh, aloe was compared against AZT were equally as efficacious as the AZT but without the toxicity. One of our AIDS patients I think you've heard about and I'll show you the uh, CAT scans in a few minutes came up with a malignancy and in combination with the routine therapy uh, he had an incredible response. And the material in this plant turns on the defensive intracellular mechanisms to fight against not only viruses but against tumors. The gastroenterologist uh, did a HIV test on me and it came up positive and suspected that I had liver cancer, but they did biopsies and uh, the specialists weren't able to get the tissue they needed. And Dr. Pulse did the fifth biopsy under computer-assisted tomography and uh, they found 17 tumors in my liver and uh, gave me four to 21 days to live. These are multiple sections of a patient's uh, liver. Each of the uh, dark spots is a tumor mass. The oncologist treating him, I was told, said he had about four to six weeks to live. I was told that no one had ever uh, developed liver cancer to the point that I had. Told me to call my lawyer and call my folks and call my priest. Anyway, each one of these uh, uh, round masses within the liver that are dark vary from the size of uh, a grape to a grapefruit, about 20 in number, and this was in April of uh, 1988. We have series over a period of time taken at four months as these masses go away and as the liver comes back up uh, to the uh, uh, margin of the ribs. My appetite was cyclical, but the one thing that, that was constant was uh, this craving for the aloe and they documented through CAT scans that my tumors began to reduce and uh, they hadn't seen any kind of response in any medical literature like that prior to me. This was taken in uh, November of 1989 
and uh, there are some scars in there, but they uh, tell us that uh, there is no evidence of uh, tumor, or if it is, it's insignificant. We have had several other similar patients with uh, various types of uh, uh, tumor. One particularly in mine is a lady in her 30s who came to my office 14 months ago. She was 38 years old at, uh, I believe, the age of 33. She had cancer of the breast. Cancer of the breast is an extremely aggressive, bad disease in young uh, women. Uh, it's bad in older, but it's even more aggressive in young women. She stood before me looking pregnant due to the excess fluid in her abdomen. She had evidence of tumor metastasis riddling her bones, uh, palpable in the abdomen, in her lungs, and in her uh, liver. I got a call from her um, husband uh, this week. Her bone scans and her CAT scans show uh, no evidence of tumor. Uh, I could go on a patient after patient after patient. I would have never gotten involved. In fact, uh, I was cynical, I was skeptical, and we have run into uh, tons of this along the way. All I can tell you, it's, it's true, and thank God for it. It will be the most important single drug, the most important single step forward in treatment of diseases in the history of mankind. You have just seen a short summary about some very important medical studies. The results may be of great benefit to you or to the people you work with. More information can be obtained by calling or writing.